I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I am going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? Sure. Great. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Mm. I, I don't, I have like a, a thing I don't really like <laughs> cooking. I like, um, I used to watch Top Chef, but it's gotten to be, but Top Chef, I guess, would be one and yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's good. Number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Gosh, that you don't already know about? Oh, so, uh, it could be anybody. Um, so I, I'm obsessed with uh, two Red Bulls and um, is it Angry Lady and her two pups? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, two pups. Yep. Mandy. I mean, those two blogs are amazing. You know, I guess from, you know, learning about different types of, of Asian style cooking. I mean, just to any, this is how they incorporate just different things. I, I love that. Um uh, so the, the Bitter Southerner, if you um, like to read, they post a like kind of a journal uh, like entry every Tuesday. And it's, it's something that's, you know, about the South. And sometimes it upsets people and sometimes it's beautiful. Um, but I would definitely recommend reading The Bitter Southerner. Awesome. Number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram or Facebook that make you happy? Um, they make me happy. You know who makes me happy on Instagram? Megan from Take a Megabyte because her her food is all is so happy. You know, with the 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 animals and the different flags. And so definitely Take a Megabyte. You know, on Instagram, she definitely makes me happy with all her photos. Um. Yeah, I mean, just one person or more than one. <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, take a make a buddy. <laughs> now, number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? Um, the most treasured item I have is my grandmother's apron. It's in a lot of the photos. Um, my maternal grandmother passed away a few years ago, but she... Uh, was kind of a, she was a history teacher um, back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and she and my grandfather were huge civil rights activists. So I learned so much from her as far as just African American history and just things that, you know, they don't teach uh, in school, things that you wouldn't even know. Um, just having to been in her presence and, you know, just learning how to make cakes and, and, you know, along with, you know, the struggles of the past and, um, and her apron was always what she wore. So that is probably my most prized possession from in my kitchen. <laughs> awesome. Now, number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. Um, you know what? I like beets, and I used to just be extremely anti-beet. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> the rest of the people in my family are not so much, but it, or in my house. Um, but I'm trying to slowly get them, you know, into. I definitely would say beets, and um, yeah. W was there a reason <laughs> that the beets were not uh, in favor? I think that you know when they were made for me, they weren't made right. Perhaps, um, but I I had a little. Gosh, this was probably about ten years ago, and someone made these little um, appetizers with uh, goat cheese, and they had pickled beets on the top. And it sounds disgusting, right? But it was so good. Really? And I think then on, I said, "Well, you know what? Maybe I can find a way to make it better." You know, in the South, we pickle everything, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Cool. Number six, you touched a, you touched a little bit on this uh, a bit earlier, but what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Um, the Joy of Cooking is a good one. Um, right now, I'm kind of on a baking kick, so I've got the well, bread baking. The Bread Bible is one I've been using, and then 
I'm, my cookbooks are like in my office right there, so I'm looking to see. Um, definitely those two have been helping me. Um, and then, um, so there's a chef in Kentucky uh, named Edward Lee, and he's, he's Korean. He's American, he's a Korean American. And his book is Smoke and Pickles. And it's, it's, it's a great, like, I hate to say fusion because that word just, you know, I don't like that word. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of Southern and Asian food. I and mean, he's just done an impeccable job. It's an older book, but it's um, Edward Lee. I just, I've been kind of cooking my way through that just, um, just, just late, as of lately. I mean, there's so many. I have a lot of cookbooks, but definitely those. Awesome. Well, number seven, the last question. What song or album just makes you want to cook? Right now, Rihanna. <laughs> I won't say the name of the song because it's explicit, but I want to cook. You know, I, I'm a big hip hop fan. We listen to a lot of rap music, um, uh, like Kendrick Lamar and Drake are really kind of like on repeat. I think that's why that you know those two people came to mind. Um, those, those, they make me want to cook. <laughs> I listen to that all day. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations, Erica. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. 